It's not that bad, is it, buddy? <laughs> Can <laughs> I do this? <laughs> no, I saw ya. <laughs>the freaking vlog today where we are absolutely getting some work done so what I'm doing at the moment is sanding down all the timber for the front of the bar uh, which is going to house the corrugated iron which you saw Sam briefly cleaning up outside so all of the timber and iron is going to run along here and eventually it's going to be obviously finished off with a clear coat so what we're going to do to protect all of the glassware is back everything off with this 9mm plywood and then go ahead and pin all of the structure to the other side of it. We've also got all the timber onto the frames for the tables. Have a peek out the window and you'll see the corrugated iron down there. There we are, it's quite windy outside so uh, I'm not really going to take you out there because it will it will blow your head off you'll not hear me because of the audio being affected by the bad breeze I have a little bit of a peek outside of the window look you can see that that tree is getting battered around a little bit I don't know that bad really does it You're making a liar out of me anyway we're gonna cut up this plywood get that on and then install all of this thick pine which actually was a pallet believe it or not which was given to me by the lads where we got the timber from in Chesterfield so waste not one not it's going to now form part of the bar which I think will look pretty good when it's done so I'll put you back on the tripod and we'll capture a bit more of today's progress today me and Sam and Stu have worked like friggin mules but we have made what I would consider a huge leap in the forward direction we are not out of the woods yet but just god I'm looking at it from here now and it looks awesome just check this out it's not finished 
but just check this out. What do you think to that, boys and girls? That's really starting to look like a bloody bar now, isn't it? So there are several pieces of timber missing. We also need to put in some reinforcements at the back of the plywood so we can screw down certain bits of wood to prevent uh, beveling out, if you know what I mean. So to give you an example, this is beveled out slightly because of the tin sheet. So what we're going to do is put some reinforcements at the back so we can screw the bottom of it down. You can see it will go in. You can see that moving. It's just, it really needs to be screwed in a little bit tighter than it already is. And then we need to cut some more timber for the base, the kickboards. Uh, I've run out of the timber that I got from Chesterfield, the pallet wood, not the main top, not the main ash. So I need to either use some scaffolding board or something else. I've got one piece here which I think pretty much finishes off this section just there if I'm holding the camera in the right position so we get the uh, the little 45 degree turn on the end I also need to chop some of this off which I forgot to do before I varnished but near bother lad we've just got enough tin sheeting I don't have enough tin sheeting to do this little section here at the side of where the fridge is going to be and yes, we'll be isolating that radiator, it will never be used. So the trick is going to be either matching up some timber. If I'm gonna do it anywhere, it will be on this end because your eyes drawn away from the rest of it. And then, uh, then finding a little bit more tin sheeting. We do have all these scrap off cuts, but none of them are long enough. Mind you, we do have one piece, but it's just uh, a little bit too thick. So, yes, yeah, so I'm unsure. See, I totally feel like we've achieved something today. Now I'm looking at the front of the bar, I can actually see exactly what we've got, and I can see exactly how it's gonna look when it's finished. Well, I'll tell you what I've just felt, lads. I've got a metal splinter in my thumb. I really like the look of that. I think, I'm like, I can't help but look in the viewfinder. It's a cracking shot. I love how the rusted, galvanised, corrugated sheet just blends in nicely with the bar top and then we're going to have clean, crisp paintwork on the sides, some nice illumination, some really good lighting, lovely, shiny chrome beer taps on the back, you can just see the babies running across there. They are going to look the absolute nuts. And then all the hand pulls down the bottom lined up when we eventually get them installed. I'm really looking forward to getting some tables in place now. It's taking shape. Get in. Yes. Yes. So, Gemma's on the way down to pick me up. I'm gonna go and wash a bit of this rust and muck off my body and we're gonna pick it up again tomorrow. See you then. Back in the house.